7. How to activate the psychic money machine. To prosper means to succeed, to thrive, to turn out well. In other words, when you are prospering, you are expanding, growing spiritually, mentally, financially, socially, and intellectually. In order to truly prosper, it is necessary that you become a channel through which the life principle flows freely, harmoniously, joyously, and lovingly. I suggest that you establish a definite method of working and thinking, and that you practice it regularly and systematically every day. How Prosperity Thoughts Changed His Life One young man who consulted with me had experienced a poverty complex for many years and had received no answers to his prayers. He had prayed for prosperity, but the fear of poverty continuously weighed on his mind, and naturally he attracted more lack and limitation than prosperity. The subconscious mind accepts the dominant of two ideas. After talking with me, he began to realize that his thought image of wealth produces wealth, and that every thought is creative unless it is neutralized by a counterthought of greater intensity. Furthermore, he realized that his thought and belief about poverty was greater than his belief in the infinite riches all around him. Consequently, he changed his thoughts and kept them changed. I wrote out a prosperity prayer for him as follows. I know it will benefit you also. An Effective Prosperity Prayer I know there is only one source, the life principle, from which all things flow. It created the universe and all things therein contained. I am a focal point of the Divine Presence. My mind is open and receptive. I am a free-flowing channel for harmony, beauty, guidance, wealth, and the riches of the infinite. I know that health, wealth, and success are released from within and appear on the without. I am now in harmony with the infinite riches within and without, and I know these thoughts are sinking into my subconscious mind and will be reflected on the screen of space. I wish for everyone all the blessings of life. I am open and receptive to God's riches, spiritual, mental, and material, and they flow to me in avalanches of abundance. His changed thinking suddenly changed him into a prosperous person. This young man focused his thoughts on God's riches rather than on poverty and made it a special point not to deny what he affirmed. In a month's time, his whole life was transformed. He affirmed these truths morning and evening for about ten minutes, knowing that he was actually writing down these truths in his subconscious mind, causing the latter to be activated and to release its hidden treasures. Although he had been a salesman for ten years with rather dim prospects for